I'll bring some weed, I got a story, I got a story, I got a story to tell. Uh, Yo, man, uh, y'all niggas ain't gon' believe me. <laughs> Hell no, till the no, no, no. So yeah, with everybody having to stay at the crib, do it. I'm challenging, I did, I did, huh, calm down, calm down. Let's Challenge everybody to come up with a story that you think back on, like, what the hell was I thinking? So, the year was 2008, I had like a two-year-old son or whatever, me and his mom, they had no car. So I'm desperate, I'm desperate as hell, trying to get the car, uh, tired catching the bus, tired being cold. So... I got this, I got some extra money just off of some crazy junk. Like, my job made, I was saving money. My job made mistake, made mistake and gave me two checks. So I get these two checks and the first thing I'm thinking is like, all right, I'm put a down payment or something. So I was trying to get an Intrepid, but they said I had no credit. So they, they told me I had to get this other car and now I can keep the car. And as long as I pay on it for like four or five months, I can bring it back in and get the Intrepid. So. They give me this 1996 Chevy Corsica. Only thing that boy had was AM, FM radio, no cassette, no CD player, no nothing. And then when you're driving, like it take a long time for that boy to accelerate. So if you're on freeway, you gotta be like, stay on that, you gotta basically stay in the slow lane. So damn, I'm driving this car, man, like everything going good, but I'm realizing all the fucked up things about this car. Oh, I'm sorry for cussing in front of you, man. But it's messed up. When it rain, you walk, if it rain, say I go to bed 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, the next morning I'm gonna have a puddle in my car. So I gotta go ahead and get all these towels and damp the bottom of the car just so I could, you know what I'm saying? Be able to drive without my feet being soaking wet in water. That's one thing. Another thing is if I, if I go to too many people's houses at one time, Say I go over Craig house and Craig ain't at the crib. So I go from Craig crib to to uh, Jamal crib. If Jamal and I at home, I got to just stay in front of Jamal house for, for at least 45 minutes to get my time, give my car enough time to charge up. Because if I don't, the car ain't going to start up, dog. And that car almost caused some beef between me and my nigga Reg. He thought that I left him. He claimed he got tased at the club at Burst on Broadway, but I don't know. But I had to leave him because... My car was messing up. Like I seen the antifreeze just coming out that boy. So I try to hurry to get back to the crib, get to my nigga Weezy crib, and the antifreeze just come all the way out. So that boy not working. And mind you, I'm I got a '96 Corsica in 2008, and I'm paying the car note of 180 dollars for this car, dog. I ain't put about 2,000 repairs for this boy. Like, dog, that car gave me problems. It run good in the wintertime, but summertime come like. You gotta know where you going, and you gotta know if that person at the crib. So that was like a little story about a stupid car that I had that it survived like two years, but it was the worst thing ever. And I just got my check garnished like two years ago and got done paying on that junk because these fools said that I owed on the car because it just broke down. I just stopped paying on it. So that was the dumbest junk I paid a car note for a '96 yeah. Corsica.